Dr. Romano, it's always great to see you. It looks like you're doing some chemistry up there on the board. Hi, I'd like to go over a question with you today that involves percent yield. Extremely important question, and I think you'll enjoy it. Let's have a look. All right. We're going to take a molecule of hexane, and we're going to heat it up, and we're going to bust it apart. And we're going to get several products, one of which is called ethylene. Now, the ethylene, C2H4, is produced in 42.5% yield. How much hexane, C6H14, must be reacted to make 481 grams of the ethylene? Now, you just got to make sure we understand how we go about doing a problem like this. We're going to first take the 481 grams of the ethylene and we convert it into moles. One mole is 28 grams, and that crosses out grams of the ethylene. Now we look at the mole ratio. We have one mole of hexane reacting to produce one mole of ethylene. So the moles cancel out. We multiply by the weight or the mass of the hexane, which is 86, and we now get 1477.4 grams. Now we're not done yet. Normally we would be done. But it says that we only produced it in 42.5% yield. Normally, on these types of problems, we assume 100% yield. But here I'm giving you a percent yield. The percent yield is the actual over the theoretical times 100. Let's plug in. We know the actual yield, well, it was given. We, we know we got 42.5%. Now, the 14.77.4, that's tricky. If we want to make this, this is what's been made, this is actual. If that's actual, this is actual. And that's where it's tricky. Because it says how much hexane must be reacted to make 481 grams. So this is what you have in your flask in lab, 481 grams. So therefore, this 477.4 is actual. So the theoretical is what we want to find, times it by 100. I'm going to divide both sides by 100. That crosses out the 100 and makes this 0.425. I crisscross multiply. Don't worry about the numbers. The numbers will be nicer on the actual exam. Dividing it out. And I'm going to hold this to three significant figures because 481 has three significant figures. And we get 3.48 to the third Grams. That would be the theoretical amount of hexane needed. I hope this explains a question that I think is a little hard. Normally, we don't see a percent yield given in a problem. When we just do stoichiometry, we just hit it directly. But if you can understand this, I think you got yourself covered. Thank you, Dr. Romano. Is that a horse you have on your shirt? It is a horse. It's the mighty secretariat. Secretariat. Wow. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Thank you. I'm going to go take a break now. Sheesh, always working.